Angelo reporting in. Who's ready to dive into a new Subnautica? New style, same great planet. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends if you're ready to get things going. Alright, bundle up, Fragnabots, because it's about to get cold. Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Already, like, 50% more voice acting than all of the previous game. <laughs> Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Drop five deployed. Wow. Oh, that was uh, a heck of a landing. Nothing a little tape can't fix, I'm sure. Interesting. Oh. Come to 45, Gotta warm up. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> oh, good to see that the game kept some of its humor. I don't even need that, but sure. So there's a meteor storm. Things are flying down all around me. How do I even... There is nothing of use in that. Wow. There's just nutrient blocks everywhere. Whee! Where do I go now? Oh. You are interesting. Smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find huh. a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Interesting. Oh. I didn't realize picking up the flare would light it. I thought I was just going to collect it for future, but... Wow. This is some wildly different ecology than the uh, previous game. I love those plants. They're so amazing. I mean, you say the drought pod and I see a frozen lake. We are not the same. <laughs> Uh, what's my jump? Uh, that's... There we go. There's my jump. Whoop! Doop -doop -doop. Huh! I did the back. I guess it's just because it's uh, years later in terms of development, but it really is the same uh, environment, just better realized. Doink. Uh huh. Down the drop pod. Cute. It's so quaint. Hmm. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. Whoa. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on four five four six B. When we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. Yeah, we already had the on fire part. Of you. <laughs> I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Huh. Interesting. We already have more story built up. Uh, let's see. 
Notice of death. Jeremis Ayu, on behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B Robotics Section Leader, and Inger Cormac, President of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet 4546B, regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me... First of all, who puts that in a letter? Anyways... Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation. Wouldn't that be remuneration? Concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards to repayment of damages and legal fees. If you have any questions, you may file a form, nobody cares, and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Wow. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. (laughs) I can't wait till we talk again. Oh. I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. (laughs) Potato? Listen, I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian, and hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. Yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing. But anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy xeno-working, though. Wow. There's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Man, they really gave you a lot to go with right off the bat. Hey, Robin! I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky (laughs) potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer, so you can't. You know, rub it in my face. Go ahead. Bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job. My safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. I guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this, 
I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Wow, we have gotten literally more story in the opening seconds of this show, or this game, show basically, than like all of the original game. Well, uh, I'll, I'll keep my thoughts on it pleasant for now, because I don't know how that's going to work in the long run, but interesting choice of direction, though. Hey, Robin, I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. <laughs> I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Oh no. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, oh no. Experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, uh, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please could really use a friend you're my sister i love you i'm already immediately curious about the time framing of this was all terror didn't seem to know much about this planet in the first game notably of course the planet is not fully explored in the first game but notably the temperature was much more tropical in that one and i find it interesting that there is a frozen leviathan it's infected with Kara. Because based on the first game, they, uh, there was only, oh, was there even a Leviathan they found that was infected? Or did it just transmit to it? Hmm. I don't remember too well. But, yeah. Welcome to Adventure Mode, Xenoworker. You have arrived in an arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Xenoworks PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs. Since you have downloaded the Arctic Survival Almanac, it will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventures, your device will also record observations and findings you make. Survival Checklist. Retreat to a safe environment. Administer first aid if required. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment using the habitat's fabricator. Locate other survivors using line of sight or the radio. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. So, unless I misunderstood this objective, uh, there is nobody else. It's just us. At least I assume. And the physical and psychological health... Yeah, We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Let's see. The surface. Ventures exploring the surface and cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. Ooh. If wearing a standard issue AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Interesting. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage if possible. We can't say this enough. Layers. Investing in a quality cold suit is certain to pay dividends in warmth and safety. Remember, when in doubt, don't go out. It feels like... Yeah. <laughs> so I don't need this. I'm going to drop well, that. Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. 
All right, so let's see, fiber mesh. So, interesting, those are our basic materials this time, huh? Wow, they actually changed it up some. Uh, recipes are the same. Well, okay, that one's different. But interesting the titanium isn't there. I guess we're not doing the, uh, the salvage side of things. Scanner, flashlight, flare, circle knife. Oh, actually, one question on the flare. Nah, it's just for distracting. Does not warm you. Okay. Interesting. Also interesting that the water is this way. Huh. Looks like I got plenty of coral and the like. God, this game is so pretty. What is this? Is it anything? No. This game is so pretty. Like, I love the crap out of the original game, but wow. Alright, so now we gotta find materials. Also, can I gotta just say, it when it comes to depth and detail here, I love that they have such stark colors for the uh, the markers. That's nice. That really is nice. That it helps it not blend into the environment quite as much. Oh, quartz. Should be able to use this. Yoink. You know what's almost scary is the fact that this is in performance rate. Oh, Driven plants that? contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Oh, right. <laughs> Starting off good here. <laughs> I am totally not used to not having a swimsuit anymore. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Roses. You just start. We just started out. I am kind of beside myself with how pretty this is, because this is in um, this is in frame rate mode. This isn't even like the high quality mode. This is impressive. Red wart. I heard something. What did I hear though? Right. Oxygen. Right. God, get used to that again. Oxygen. Yes, oxygen is a thing. So, a bit of a turn of pace just to catch up in the like five minutes of the game you might have missed. There's an agenda to this one. We came in looking for answers to a particular question that we don't really have answers to yet. And there's actually a lot more voice, I think. I know you forgot there's FF4 team agents. Oh. What was that? Personal log. Minerals galore. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife my lucky PDA and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Wow. <laughs> Built Zeno tough. Let's see, what can I make? I can make some glass for whatever good that's going to do right now. And a battery. Yeah. Those things don't really do me much good at the moment, but hey. It's something. Oh, actually, it does me a lot of good. Never mind. I forgot this kit. It, it's crazy how much time I put into the first right, Subnautica. I have a scanner. It's crazy how much time I put into it, and I'm relearning, like, from the beginning. It's just wow. In goes the battery and titanium. Now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. 
That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Cool. Well, let's get scanning. Bladderfish, bladderfish. Come here, buddy. You are mine. Yoink. Oh. New blueprint synthesized. Scan everything. All the things. Probably not gonna read any of the, the things that take a back to me. Nah, there's the air bladder. <laughs> oh man, the scanner is so much faster than it was in the previous game. Holy cow. Oops. Also didn't seem to be quite as finicky either, so that's nice. Edward. There we go. That got stuck. Oxygen. So I like that this is our base starting out. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Let's see. I need silicon rubber, which means I need get. Creep vines, which are thus far nowhere even remotely close to where I'm at right this moment. At least best I can ascertain. It's a penguin. Can I take you home? I want to take you home. Oh. Seriously though, it, this game is so pretty. And here, here's another thing too, Roses. There's actually legit land masses now. Hi. Glad you get. Hey. Get the pangling. Baby pangling. I don't know what to do with you, but you're mine now. All the penguins belong to me. Haha. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I have pets. <laughs> hey, you. Boomerang fish, come back here. Thank you. New creature discovered. Yeah, fun fact the penguins are actually artificial life forms. Okay, so... He's so cute! Yeah, he's so adorable. Yeah, I was pretty much half expecting that that's what was gonna happen. Here you go, buddy. And you too. Whee! Yeah, I was... I. I Oh, that's not the one I meant. I legitimately was expecting Mama Pangy to get very upset with me. But, I got lucky. It didn't happen. Hoopfish. Hoop. Hoop day. New creature discovered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it gets dark out here. Sheesh. I thought they were giving it up on me. Yeah, I was kind of thinking it too. I was like, hmm. <laughs> Coral Bridge. And so pretty. I heard something. Where's my oars at, though? I haven't seen any ore. I mean, there's glass, but definitely not the same thing. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, scan first. Nope, oh, 
Up to the service. Go, 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 go. I really need to get a better air tank. This is obnoxious to deal with. That's just a hoop fish. God, this is so pretty. Holy crap. I'm calling it now. In your canoe? Oh! The, wait, canoe. Are you talking about the thing that blew up when I got onto the planet's surface? Because I don't even know where that is now. I, I really am just mesmerized. This this planet is just so beautiful. I could really do with some. Cat, it took me this long to understand to understand what you said there. That's how awful that pun was. <laughs> I was looking at what you said and I was like, what? And I, I, it just clicked. <laughs> I hear somebody rumbly. Peepa! Arctic peeper. Hey, hold still. Also, I want you. Thank you. New creature discovered. Yes, I'm just stealing one of everything at first. Oxygen. Hey. Well, fine. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Get the door. Woo! Seriously, it's great that I've accessed so many fish, but, uh. These are cute. My fishering. Oh, there's a there's a uh, deposit of some nature. Oh, yes, I just saw that. The game actually implemented one of the things I was talking about in my review of the previous game. Now, when you after you've scanned it, it tells you what there's a chance of being in that particular thing. Nice. That's what's up. I like it. Oxygen. I'm I'm a swimming. Yeah, that is a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, quality of life improvement right there. Uh Okay, what am I even wanting to make? The O2 tank. I need another piece of titanium and fiber mesh. I need to find creep vines. I have no earthly idea where they are. Also, save. Huh. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. That's actually the one thing this doesn't have. It doesn't have a medkit thing. Do, do, do. Let's go off this way and see what we find. Oh, there's what creep finds. My creeps be hanging out. Also, there's some salvage. Yes. Ayo. <laughs> oh, wait. Oxygen. Eh, I can't scan and swim. I was trying to. <laughs> Go. 
there's what I'm looking for. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not you guys. Steal! New blueprint synthesized. <laughs> Yoink! Alright, back to the base for a quick sec. Ooh, actually, hold up. Titanium. Copper. Oxygen. Hi, hi. I know. And it's daylight, now I can actually see what's around me. There we go. Now we're talking. It's it's almost kind of jarring that the level of detail that's here now, because I'm so used to everything just standing out as like the only thing in a place, but now there's actually a lot of things in places. You know, not everything I come across and happen to see ends up being a viable thing for some reason. Oxygen. Some of it's just decorative. I really need that air bladder thing. I think I can make that now. I think. There we go. Fabricator. Okay. Equipment. Oh, hey, there we go. Ooh. Tough choice. Do I want to go with the survival knife first? Uh, survival knife and the fins. That's what I want to start with. Oh, I guess I can't do the fins. Make some copper wire. And we are cooking. Alright, air bladder. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. I like your sass. <laughs> also, more batteries are always good. Uh, now I can get a flashlight. I'd like, look at that. Look how quick that, that's just kind of rolling together for me. And see, glad got to work on you still. Okay. So, we've got like pretty much our whole two set almost at this point. Uh, flare. Oh. It does actually improve that, okay. Okay, well, here's how we want to do this. We want to go scanner first, knife second, bladder third. And I guess we'll throw the flare in fifth. I don't think we're going to do anything on land for a little bit, though. Oh, so pretty. Time to get out there and be all slash, slash, slash. Well, that it. First thing slashed. Kind of curious though. Are these just food sample things? Edible. Drop. 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 <clears throat> Getting all the things right up my face here. Okay. Don't need any of that stuff, so get out of here. So, I need to make my way back over to the vines. First, let's get the mirror. Then down. There we go. I'll grab two of those. Here we go, now we're talking. Of 
Quartz. Quartz. Oxygen. What? I am extremely traumatized because I swear that was a Reaper just now. Or a Warper. Dang it, I'm still doing that. A whole game later and I'm still doing it. Hi. Aren't you adorable? Oh, the same monkey. He's not cute. Yeah, I want to skin you. As long as you don't try no funny business. You little the cheeky. Down here is very hey. Grabby. Oh, wait. How dare. Give me that. That's cute, by the way. I like that mechanic. That's actually a really cute mechanic. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't something all once if I had to go get another knife to kill it to get my knife back or something crazy like that. No! 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 You! That's it. Wait, where did you even go? Give it. I like how they, they're just like, they mess with you for a second, but it's not like they seriously actually Oxygen. want to do anything with it. Okay. So here's the, here's the test I wonder on that. There. There we go. Couple of those. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this cat. Yeah, already the, the polish on this one is a lot better. And, you know, there's definitely the fact that I'm familiarized with the style of the game, you know? Oxygen. Whee! Whoosh. There we go. Alright, time to get some fins. Yeah, I think a huge part of it is because I did just come off of the other one, that this is like seeing the game freshly, you know? Not having to get like reacquainted with it at all. Okay. Basic materials. Well, hold on. So for equipment, the O2 tank needs fiber mesh. So we're making that. And we make some glass. Right? Now we're talking. Alright, so we got our O2 tank. That's going to be a huge benefit for us. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Huh. Standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Oh, there's the rare. Oh, oh no, not the crystal sulfur. <laughs> okay, I need more cream vine samples though. Dang. This is, this really is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm having a blast already. Cause like the only things that kind of held me up on Subnautica, the first game was just, it was a little bit clunky, but it's like they figured out how to make it smooth and now everything is good, you know? It's 110% of the potential of the previous game already. I don't need that stuff. Right. That's oh, hey, that's a nice touch. It just automatically equips it. Nice. All right, time to dump some stuff. There we go. Clear up some space. And now we are ready to roll. We got some actual oxygen. Uh. Oh, okay. At first it didn't change over. I was like, we got some 
Oxygen? Nope, not that. Yeah. Do 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 do. Go, go, cave explorers. Hmm. I saw that. Nice. I, I'm truly just bedazzled by this, though. It's so, so pretty to look at. Ooh, a Luna plant. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. No. There we go. You know what? We've got our survival knife. I wonder what, if we can find anything back over at that crash site now. Where we first came down. I wonder. Let's find out. I'm kind of hoping we could take the scanner back there and uh, get the recipes for like that unit we were on. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Okay. So we jumped in. What the? Huh? Are you a land peeper? What is happening? Hold up. I must investigate this. You. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Hold on. Dangerous I got you, buddy. Seek shell there you go. Back in the water with you. Dangerous weather. Well, luckily I'm underwater, so... Should be fine, probably. Hopefully. Yeah, they're not kidding about that dangerous weather. Wow. Oh, you are fascinating. And you are savage? Salt. I am probably going to regret picking that up. Frost anemone. What is that? The frost anemone grows on the underside of ice flows and icebergs. The anemone's tendrils are covered in thin, stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton that are broken down for nutrients. These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Assessment. Carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Huh. Well, it's a shame that it's not used for anything else, but that's still pretty cool. Is that... Oh, I thought my buddies from uh, the first game were here. Got me all super excited for just a second. Nope. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Whoa! Oxygen. Very, 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 very cool. Hey, wait a minute. I know. Needs to get more velocity power behind it. No. I, I got none in my hands, buddy. Uh. Is it just actually that dark, or... Yes. Yes, it is. Also, oh my god, it's so pretty and detailed. Oh, what is this? Got an egg already. Absolutely nowhere to put it, but I got one. Meh. 
I always want to keep a look here and make sure I have got a way to get back up. Okay. Jeez, that storm. I, I actually really appreciate the uh, introduction of weather effects like that. That's really cool. Oh, what's down here? Ooh, radiant sieve coral. No, nothing. Wait, something else. Kelp root. Warning. There we go. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Away! Wee! <laughs> that that really never gets old. We're definitely in a stage of should uh, should be finding more materials soon, or uh, not more not materials recipes, as I would say. What are you? Oxygen plant, handy. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh oh, I found an old friend. Ah, ow! Hello, crash fish, my old friend. Who? Hmm. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yike! Worth it. Well, glad that I know where the crash fish are. And there's actually no sarcasm in that. I'm actually glad I found them. Because, man, they caused me so much pain in the butt before. Where? Where? Oh, there you are. Uh, Warning. Thirty seconds. I'll come of back. Remaining. It's annoying. I need to get a better oxygen supply going for that. It's a little too deep for it. Uh oh. Oh, good. I didn't break my skull. <laughs> So besides the aesthetic changes, I gotta say, some of the things I'm noticing immediately I'm liking about this variation of the game, the fact that you have the storms to take into consideration means that you can't just wait for the day-night cycle when it comes to making any progress. You actually have to invest your time and energy into doing things like getting the batteries and stuff. Nope. Both of y'all follow me in the hole. But yeah, I think that's actually really nice. Because functionally, there, there came a point where the uh, the lights weren't 
really that important. I, I'm, until like you were in the super deep water anyway. So that that's cool that that's not a problem now, you know? Oh, that was some lightning. It was very frightening. <laughs> Oh my god. Fabricator. Okay, hold on. Oops. Okay, so compass requires a uh, couple wire and a wiring kit. Fins I'm good with. Tools. Uh, get on that. Uh, oh, actually, I need silicone to make the repair tool. Hold up. Gonna need that. Also, make the glass because why not? There we go. Man, look at us go. We are rocking. And the egg for later. Uh, we'll keep a flare with us, actually. Previous game, that thing would not have stayed in our inventory, but it's actually very worth having. Hey, right. is that storm gone now? I wish it had kept some uh, indicators for me on where exactly I, I came from initially, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, I guess it wasn't too hard to figure out. It's right over here. Land ho! No. I have snow. I don't know what I have snow for, but I have to, I have snow now. If I was the guess, it's probably for water. <laughs> okay. Thermal lily. Oh, interesting. Thermal lily. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. During the day, it points its face towards the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, the thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss, and it relies on its heat source to survive the harsh arctic conditions. Cool. Can I take a piece of you? Nope. Blue scrub brush. Can I take a piece of you? No. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek what? shelter. Oh, come on. I just got to where I was trying to go. Hide me, Lily. Actually, hold on. Save. <laughs> There's not really a cave around here that I can hide in. This this crevasse is basically the best I got. Or crevice, I suppose. Can I do anything with you? <laughs> no, you are totally wrecked out. Oh man. Oh, that was a waste of a trip then. 
I've gotta do something. Hit. No, yeah. Oh, there's lightning. Uh, oh boy. Oh. Filtered water, flare, flare, eh. More snow, eh. Okay. No, there is gen genuinely nothing here. I somehow managed to just luck, dumb luck my way into the one way out of this area. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought it might have been cool to find something here. Oh well. Again, there could potentially be another way around. Said to swim and see. That's just salt. Go. Those things that just like jet streamed at me. That was interesting. I wanna scare one of you. Ow! I wanna scare one of you guys. No. No. None of that. I will scan you. The duel of the scans. Okay. There we go. I am sated. Do 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 do. Go. Woo! Oh, 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 can I do it? Yes. But at what cost? <laughs> well, I made it up here. I don't know if there's even anything up here, but I made it. <laughs> Yes, I have effectively skyrimed my way out of bounds, I think. <laughs> Which is what I do. What can I say? Wait. Oh. I was excited for a second there. Into the water! Into the water and found something very interesting. A titan whole fish. What? What? No. No. Symbiote. Yeah. First science. There. All right. Let's continue on our way.
What else we got going on? The Titan Hole Fish is very interesting. Salt. Bunch of monkeys. Uh, I don't think you're. You have a use. <laughs> Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, look at that. Okay, that really shouldn't have hurt me, to be honest. That was barely a jump. Still, I found a hole in the ice. <laughs> I'm getting good to that. That occurs to me. Okay. I was like, I actually don't even know where my ship is right now. Or my pod. Ooh. This has got kind of a weird vibe going on. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oh. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah. Oh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen okay. remaining. Sucks to be him. Whee! Jeez, it's the main time. <laughs> huh, I guess I'll take some more of this to do some more science -iness. Uh, Actually, hold on. Rather than being aimless about this, let's see what we need. So, I need a computer chip, which means I need table coral sample and gold, which I do not have. I have enough copper for copper wire, so that's good. Uh, equipment. No, nothing particular. I think we're I think we're just kind of in a stage right now of we just need to find things. That's the the thing. Ironically. Okay. Ooh, there's something glowy. Ooh, is that wreckage? That's a sea monkey nest. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, you cheeky little guys. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you, oxygen plant. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you. These things are just perfectly placed. Hydrothermal vent. Nice. I just picked up a really big thing. Okay. That good stuff. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Do do do. Give me what you got. Okay. That's enough playing dangerously for the moment.
Okay. We got a good bit of materials. Let's let's see what else we can find. This just kind of stands out. <laughs> You know, it is actually really fitting that the sea monkey nest would be where a bunch of the materials are. Okay. Seriously though, you guys are... You guys are just amazing. Wait a minute. What? Ow. You. Come here. Bring your duel now. Trey. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I like that the sea monkeys are pretty much not only just a, a cute creature to deal with, but also. They're like a uh, a check on you as the player to not swim around with your tools all the time. I like that. That's actually really clever. Okay, and we're back to base. Alright, so we need some fiber mesh. Make some glass up. I hear that out of the corner of my vision. It's kind of bothering me. Uh, yes. Definitely want the compass. Is that the, just the storm outside, or what? what is that? I don't think I have anything else that's particularly useful at the moment. Oh, I do need to turn this into something. Hold on. Oh, I need two of them. Hmm. Okay. You know, I kind of like how the, the, the place you land is where the penguins are. It's actually really cute. Well, now we have a compass, so does that help us right now? No, but it will at some point. Also, you know, one of those. Oh. Okay, we now have graph traps. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Whee! monkey's nests. Oh, hello. Mobile vehicle bay. Hey, and a PDA. Nice. 
Altaria misplaces one kilometer capital ship, Aurora. Okay, well, this is after the events of the first game. <laughs> the Independent Galactic News Intergalactic Perspective. Contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate in the Ariadne arm, report inside sources. Altera launched the Aurora's to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived in the des destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. Asked for comment, a spokesperson for Altera said, Communication with ships outside the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. We have no reason to think anything has changed. Nonetheless, our sources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to re-establish contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. Keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the transgev to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors, shareholdings, and dealings are, of course, not public information. <laughs> nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Boop. Oh, this is... This is something. Wow. This area is big enough to have a friend. And by a friend, I mean something that will eat me. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Whee! You know, this whole thing reminds me a lot of the uh, Ghost Leviathan, like how it looks. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh dear. That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Uh, can I get there? Not yet, at least. I kind of like that, though. I like that you have a, uh, a method of getting that kind of information without having to go back to the pod. Definitely improves the mobility of your uh, gameplay. That's so pretty. What is that? Not the sound. But... Oh, it's a little baby Leviathan. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Why? Right. <laughs> to the oxygen plant! Ooh, is that blood oil? Oxygen. No, that's just more coral. Coral. Give me the coral. Oh, I see that part hasn't changed. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Whee! Holy cow, that was a joke.
go. That's wild that the coral or the table coral has that color on this part of the planet. Oh, you look like a fun guy. Oh, wait, you're the guy I was just talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. He's a brute. Quite literally. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Taking a bite for science. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Mm okay. Super jump! So, you know, one thing that's been on my mind since we started this playthrough, I can't help but wonder where am I finding the Altera Rex at? Oh, you are so cool. You're with the scan. Huh. You look so aggressive, but you don't seem to be. But, yeah, sorry. What I kind of wondered, though, is in terms of the wreckage that we're looking for, are we thinking it's going to be deep, or are we thinking it's going to be shallow like the Aurora survivors? Or failure to survive? Kind of wonder. But yeah, I'm I'm actually struck Oxygen. by how pretty all this is though, really. It's incredible. Also, I like the oxygen plants. It's a nice touch. Uh, we'll grab another of those to make, just in case. Do not need more glass. We have lots of glass. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. Back to the base again, yep. The one thing I'm trying to really wrap my head around is the uh, the coral membrane type things you're seeing. And just wondering if those were part of the uh, the forerunners or whatever they were called, civilization. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. As soon as we have a way to get to 200 meters, we will. <laughs> we are not doing that yet. All right. We might have to make ourselves a health kit, just in case. Our first aid kit. Eh. 
I don't know. It's it's kind of funny. In the last game, I made the air pump and the pipe and all that stuff, and then I basically never used it. And now this time, I'm actually considering using it so I can go deeper, but then wondering if sea monkeys are going to go and steal the pipe. Okay. I still need to find gold. I need gold for that. Hmm. <laughs> Snowball. Alright, did I break? Yeah, there it is. Cool. Alright, let's fill up our inventory here. And we need to find more recipes. That's, that's a pretty key component right now, is trying to find more recipes to be able to make more stuff. Now, one thing I do want to see. So I don't have the direct location of where that pod is. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's head down down. Uh, save real quick, actually. So we can find out all these monkey nests. Go. Ah, jeez. Man, you were more stubborn than I gave you credit for. Sea glide fragment. Nice. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh. Warning. Okay. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There's one. Boop. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I don't know if you swim f faster without that, but I imagine you do. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Huh. All this just kind of feels like a big old loop, I guess. All Terra beacon signature detected. Oh. Unique identifier. Delta Station dock. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Aha! Progress. Steal one of these real quick. Go. That way I can make another battery later. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Man, that's a long way away. Also, hello. Don't mind if I do. We got Seagull Eyed. E. Going up to the surface. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. Oh, we don't want to be anywhere near that guy. Nope, nope, nope. No Leviathans today, please. Just gonna skirt to the side of that one. Yeah, major props though to the team. They really, really improved their craft when they were making these underwater environments. Ah, 
hydrothermal spires. Cool. Huh. Don't want to go that way. This is dangerous. <laughs> Ooh. Lithium! Lithium! Oxygen. Nice. Can't believe we found lithium already. Wow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get chased up to the surface soon. I do want to try and be thorough here as best I can without getting killed. Collaborate? Out, uh, outcrop? Ah. There's my gold. Nice. Uh huh. Well, fortunately, I don't know what's good for me, so there. Take that. Uh, doesn't have the oh shit, now we're getting somewhere music when you finish the recipe anymore. Yeah, I think that that's. I think I'll take the even atmosphere that this one's providing. Because the problem with that, that was just a minor thing with regular Subnautica. Was that you had a lot of times where that epic music would play and there's just nothing happening at all. <laughs> You're just like, oh, okay. Hi. You know, ooh. What is that? Honeycomb fungus. This hardy fungus erupts through the thick ice shelf. It sends a collection of hyphae filaments that collect nutrients and moisture deep into the ice shelf until it hits permafrost. From there, the hyphae intertwine into a thick root-like system called mycelia cords. These mycelium effectively, efficiently pull nutrients from the soil. Neat. I'm totally going to like, end up in the Area 51 style place and if there's anybody still alive I'm getting murdered. <laughs> Calling it now. Uh -huh. Mineral detector fragment. That's exciting. Using a complex blend of electromagnetic field transmission and beta decay detection, the mineral detector is capable of identifying nearby sources, resources, and approximating distance. Two antennae emit an advanced pattern of waves to detect specific materials for mining. An ultra-bright display visually uh, communicates distance to the target resource. Proximity alarms add an extra layer of information for finite spatial positioning. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for the crystalline sulfur. Emmanuel's special request. Emmanuel gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more showerheads. This should lead you to the necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh. I should have studied interstellar law like Dad said. Have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. 
I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job of zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. Indeed. Also, cat attempted, but nah. <laughs> Okay, let's save real quick. Yep. Right. Whoa. Uh oh. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. I want her prawn suit. Wait. Who are you? I want her prawn suit. My land. No, give me your prawn suit. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That was cool as heck. I'm all for it. I'm kind of- I'm seriously jealous though. All I got to do is pummel things with a drill arm. This lady gets like a super sickle side thing. What the heck? I don't know what I'm scanning, but I'm scanning something. I'm guessing the room. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? <laughs> Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, <laughs> say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly <laughs> very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Wow. <laughs> Alienitis, huh? Can I, can't help but wonder if that's either the researchers just being exceptionally paranoid and bored out of their minds or if they started developing symptoms of the Kara. I'm curious to know which one it is. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. Let's go. New blueprint synthesized. Hmm.
You know, I'm definitely grateful to her for not actually injuring me. That would have been unfortunate. <sighs> Hi. Oh. That's not what I thought it was. I was about to be really, really happy. Oh, it is. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. It just gave me two things for it. Cool. Data box. What we got? What we got? Scanner room. Oh, we are cooking. We just got such a huge upgrade in the last like two minutes of the game. Is this the observatory? Hey. So we're basically just we found one Altera base and just. Are um, stealing all of their tech. Literally. I'm okay with this. But I'm not okay with this. I can't see very well. Gotta pull up my flashlight here, I guess. Yeah. Up. Let me up. Let me up. Uh oh. Nope, never mind. Let me down. Let me down. I think I'm st Oh no. Ah, oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> I got stuck. Also, I'm freezing now. Hypothermia imminent. Indeed. Back in the box. Back in the box. Hup. Woo. Oh, there's something else to scan here? Oh. Guess not. Oh, there it is. Single wall shelf. I can see clearly now. <laughs> oh, I can scan the map. That's cool. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Wow. I've already been in there. Did you go down the other half? Uh nice. She set up. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Oh, the other hall. Sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, I think I did. I can I can verify and go back through it again. I want it. Executive toy. <laughs> Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Hmm. Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. <laughs> a boss that doesn't sound like a complete jerk, at least. I guess that's a, that's a thing. David, 
You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, hmm. I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. That's what I was waiting to hear. The success-driven businessman. Also, I'm rather curious at what's keeping this place warm. <laughs> wow. I'll take that. Kind of weird that I can't open up the lockers. Okay, so I went in there. Uh, let's see. Now, this is the place you were asking if I went down the other hole, correct? Down into here? I did not. Hey, thank you. Communications tower maintenance log. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. Thanks, Cat. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. Jeremiah looks like he's part of the As Nutcracker. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds <laughs> want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Wow. Pretty. It says Mercury 2. Huh. I wonder if that's either in this game? Shit. <laughs> I wonder if that's in this game or if that's supposed to be like a spoiler for the next Subnautica game. Taking it. The new sea truck X12. Keep calm and truck on. I I hate it, but I'm taking it. Pick up Fred's shaving kit. Sure. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and. I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by, because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. <laughs> Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. Be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? 
I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Yoink. Uh, was that all that was here? Oh, I want the coffee mug. Wait. Ha! Ha! I see what you did, developers. Right there. You see it? A Subnautica branded coffee mug. Cheeky, and I like it. I think my inventory is like mostly posters at this point. Nope. Name plate. Fred Lachance. Oh, okay. No, it's got the other way. All right. So Man, that was a big old void. And we have a platform. Surveillance status report. Sector Zero Region Scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. Test override module port. Huh. Guess that's something I can't deal with here right now. Well, I was fully expecting there to be something else there, but he has not. Hmm. That's it, huh? That's all that's on this piece of land. You know, it was actually pretty good, but I didn't mean to say it was empty, but so I was looking for more. I don't see anything that's particularly... Oh! Warm me up. Mm. Thank you. Oh, thought that was actually some, but it was just no. Huh. 
Huh. Okay. Well, I guess it's about all that's there. Whoa. Okay, that was more explosive than I thought it would be. I was not fully prepared for that. <laughs> Detecting stern of an astronautical Saltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Oh, also, I... I see a sea dragon. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Now. Why are you guys like this? Everywhere I go, you guys are like this. There's, uh, I think at this point I just need to go back to the base and start making stuff. So I don't think there's really anything else for me to grab currently. Crustacean sensation. I want to know. First, I must Oxygen. go. Oxygen. I want to scan you. Because, man, you look cool. Rock puncher. Oh, he looks so cool. Whoa, and you can jump. But you can't swim. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Oh. Oh, back to base time. Man, I wish I had beacon technology right now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, we'll go this way. Doo -doo -doo. Oxygen. Back to the ice flues. Oh? Oh? How did I miss that before? There's no way I missed that. Well, actually, there's entirely possibly a way I missed that, but still. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I already had the recipe for that. Eh. Really? Aw. Oh. Kind of hoping I get something of use out of this thing, but not really. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's all said and done. I gotta say, I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised at how just at home I became in this one. I'm actually really happy. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. She was stubborn. Like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster. Less... play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... tried to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. Well, that's an interesting thought. Alrighty. So, let's get to making some stuff. We need a copper wire to make that. First, we're going to make a wiring kit. Free up a little space. Now we can get one of them copper wires. There it is, computer chip. Uh, thermos. <laughs> nice. Habitat builder needs a battery. Okay, easy enough. As it happens, I grabbed some plants before I came back, so we're good. Habitat builder. Oh yeah. Seriously, we adding <laughs> emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. We got the habitat builder. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed. No storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Anyways, I like that though. Yeah, it was like 10 hours in, I think, before we got the uh, Habitat Builder last time, so. Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Okay, copper wire. Uh, let's see. So we've got we've got a whole bunch of our tools actually at this point. Battery required. What was it again? Oh right, I forgot. Pinning recipes. That's a thing. Cool. All right. Put in that to make later. That. Uh, you don't think I need the graph trap? I think it's still kind of meh. But let's see. There may be something that ends up changing my mind. Oh, now Savage is there. Nice. Okay. A fancy shaving kit. <laughs> Oh man, I'm excited. We we got the habitat builder, we can start doing some fun stuff now. Now the question is though, what do we have in the habitat builder? Sure I'll find she <laughs> Okay. Oh right, we can make we need to build the uh, modification station so we can make the thermoblade. Okay, we need lead. Uh, do I only have one lead? I thought I had two. Oh, uh, is it in here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let, let's do some trading out of stuff here. 
Let's trade out a couple of those. That, that, that. And these posters and cute little fancy things can all go in there for now. Okay. Now let's see what that does for us. Honestly, we've, we've gotten it so early in that I'm not really sure what I or where I want to build my base, if I'm entirely honest. It's like pressure, 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 pressure. <laughs> oh, wait. Battery. I need copper. Okay. Get me the copper. There's a better. Okay. The mineral detector is probably going to be really handy too, so. Let's do that. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Like to hear that. And I need another battery to make my sea glad. As it happens, I still have more of these in here. Alright, what is that? Root pustule. Huh? We'll see what I gotta do with that later, I guess. Ah, oh, man, we have so many tools now. Just all the tools. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. So fancy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that just opened up a whole big degree of the world for us. So, let's see. Oh, right. Uh, in the Habitat Builder, what can we build here? We can build the basic places. So, the multi-purpose room and such. Uh, there's a solar panel. We need quartz for that. Ah... Uh, that's going to be rough this time. That The way this planet works, that's going to make things really tight to be able to use solar panels. Bioreactor is probably a much more efficient way to do it, at least currently. Okay, wiring kit and copper wire. Okay. So, quartz to make that. That. Okay. Hang a few minutes. Okay. See when you come back, cat. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I need to find somewhere that's relatively in the shallows. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I not using my sea glide? Duh. Ah, uh, the map doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Oh. Dang. 
Siegled. We. All Terra supply cash nearby. Oh. Eh? Oh. Save. <laughs> Well, I wasn't looking for a fight, I was looking for a place to put my base. <laughs> Wait. Hold Oxygen. On. There was something that it... It flicked the scan thing at me. No. My tool. Uh, hmm. Actually, this is not a bad location. Oh, another sea glide fragment. Trig. Oh. Hmm. This isn't exactly an ideal place to build something like that. I mean, oh, those things are hostile. I do like the Titan whole fish, though. The Martian Lux. Oh, welcome in, Bandy. I hope you've been doing good. Feel free to hang out. Always appreciate you, you being here. And I present to the Martian the holiest of fish. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not can't jump up there. Hmm. Maybe. I might be able to do something over here. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. I got an idea. We go down. Then we go up. Nah, no, nope. I've loved it. Hold on. Can't get enough uh, upward momentum for this to work correctly. No? Hey. Hold on. Oh, almost got it. Dang. Ha, ah, I got it. 
Uh, not, not actually the one I wanted it to be on, but that's fine. That's not the tool I wanted either. Hold up. Me being all crafty and clever up here. Alright, so first step. We need to build a foundation. Okay. Second, we need to build a multi-purpose room. Uh, this is always so finicky. Okay. Third up, we need to build a hatch. Not exactly. Uh, hold on. Not exactly what I had in mind. That kind of messed up. Alright. I don't think that's far enough. Hold on. Nailed it. There we go. Give it. Okay. Anyways. Hatch. Cool beans. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Well, luckily we are above water, so that part doesn't mean nothing. Hey. Cool. So I got my hatch. Next step. I need to build some solar oh. Dang, I don't have any I don't have no quartz on me. Hold up. <laughs> Back in the water. Luckily, there's a whole bunch of quartz right here. There we go. And then, go, go, gadget ascension. Whee! Nah, nope. Wasn't that far enough down. Try it again. Also, might as well take the extra quartz. Go away! Wait. Ah. Uh, hmm. Why did I fix that? I need to build like a ladder down. You cheeky little fish. Okay, kid. Hello. Jeez, man, that lasts forever. Although, note to self, I did not know that's what they did. Now I know. Okay. Fiend. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Let's see if we can't do some building from here, actually. Oh, wait, don't want to do that first. We want to do. Uh, which one is it? Uh, it's fine. We'll figure that out here in a second. Go up. Up. Oh, there we go. Huh. 
Hmm. Not exactly. Although, I wonder if we can be a little bit humorous with this. No? No, good. Uh oh. How can I go about this? I feel like building another hatch area is kind of weird and it doesn't work the way I want it to. Uh, hmm. Nah. I wish I could build like a proper ladder. Not just a ladder for connecting floors, but one to actually, you know, get up literally right here. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Working on it. Woo! Okay. Down here should be a, a, a good depth to do this. Because I need to have just enough depth for it to launch me. But not... Hmm. This is difficult to do. It like keeps getting stuck. Okay. Well, let's try this then. Okay. Need you to connect. Dang it. Can oh, you can rotate now. Here we go. The gods have answered. You could in the original? Uh, that wasn't in the port. That's why I always had so much trouble getting this stuff done because I could I literally was unable to make the uh the twists. It was? Huh. Well if you say so. Alright. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Trying to bridge a gap that the game doesn't want me to bridge. <laughs> that. Hey, let me up. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. The heck? Why is it not letting me stay on this little piece of land now? There. Actually, this works out. Uh, foundation here. Oh. I do not have any more lead. Well. Uh, no, hold on. We don't want to do that one. We want to do... Actually, all we need to do is we need to find more lead. That's a wow. It goes all the way down. I 
That's salt. Okay. No. You will not be freezing me today, sir. Okay. Oh, there's an outcropping I missed. Let's see. Delete one eye compartment and replace it with a T or X. Oxygen. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that from before. I keep forgetting about that. Thank you. Reggie at least saw what I, oh, you saw what I was trying to do though. Okay. So wanna go with place it with a T or an X. Okay. Okay, you can use a vertical shaft to get it easier. I know this is extra work to do this, but I feel like this is such this is gonna be so worth it in the end. Okay. Use a vertical shaft. Aha! Wait, that isn't quite. What if I did an I and then an X? I think that might be my ticket, actually. Hmm. Well, let's see, let's see. Vertical connector, ladder. Oh, that was trippy. So, I, let's see, I need to be able to, I need to find another lead piece, which is unfortunate. Oh, apparently I need more titanium now too. Hold on. We're going to deconstruct this for a minute. Got to warm back up here. Oops. What the? This little piece of flooding ice does not like me. There. So what if I did an eye? and then a T, and then a vertical. And the vertical would end up like over here. Dangerous weather approaching. Uh -huh. Seek shelter. I won't let me connect it that way. That's weird. Alright. 
Just sitting here and waiting a second. It's so dang finicky. <laughs> there. Okay. So, well, hold on. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. God, okay. Make an eye compartment. Going this way. Okay. Make a T compartment. Well, I guess we can make an X compartment. We'll do that. Give some more viability for the base later. Okay. Cool. So we got that. Now, can we build... Can we make a hatch that comes down here? What? That was it. Brilliant! Hut, 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 hut. Warning. Emergency Woo. power only. Oxygen production offline. Well, cool. We got, so if we got that hatch, which is a lot easier to get to, then that means that I can deconstruct the other one and replace those. So that works. Heck yeah. Actually, wait, we'll go out the other way and do it that way. Although, I guess I could have two entrances. I guess it doesn't hurt that bad. I think like I'd have to find a way to bridge over some more to make it work. Alright. Solar panels. Oh, yeah. Ah, could you give me like two seconds? Jeez. Oh. Not gonna let me? Hmm. Let's see. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Hey, you're killing me with this. <laughs> I like how I can go into a completely unpowered place and that is sufficient to warm me back up. Okay. Can I put them on top? That's all I want to do. You're not going to let me, are you? What's up with that? Oh! I had it. For just a split second, I had it. There we go. Success! Power restored. All primary systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh yeah. Cool. So, first thing, we want to make a fabricator. Uh, ba -da -ba. Yeah, I think this will this will be fine here. To be able to hatch your X compartment to get it there easier. Oh. Okay, I'll check that out. One sec here. There we go. 
and uh, I don't have any materials to make. All right. Okay. So you're saying that instead of this hatch right here, I can make one here? Because, I mean, that's... Unless you're talking about a vertical hatch, that's actually what I did here, was I built this hatch on it. In the ceiling. But... Why would I do it in the ceiling? Are you talking about up here? I wonder. Oh, I don't have more materials. Okay, well, I had some fun doing a little bit of base build. I think I'll keep both entrances, actually. It'll allow me to expand even farther later. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Basically, we just need to grab essentially everything. There we go. Don't need that right now. Okay, that's one thing we do not need. Okay, get some of that. Huh. Still counts as creep hand, apparently. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Whew. I just went to access to Rift for so Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. Oh. Handy. Thank you. Still got me. And those guys, I swear. Uh, oh, inventory is full. Shoot. Okay. Actually, that's a really important thing that I do not have right now, is, uh, a beacon. So I can get back to my base easily. Alright. Up. Oh. Dang it. There it is. It's over there. Nice. Spoosh. Okay. Alright. Back in the base. Survival rate would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. I have one. 
Pretty boss me. Alright. Make some glass. Alright. Save real quick and. So, let's see. Let's get back to what we do. We actually have copper wire that's back at the other place. So, we don't need that. Uh, primary thing we need actually is the battery charger. So, what does that guy need? Wiring kit and copper wire. Okay, pretty sure we have those back at the base. Um, God, that kills me that we don't have a beacon yet. Of all the things I wish we had right now. Okay, back to base. We'll snag any materials we happen to see along the way. Like this. Go. Okay, this is exactly on the way, but I still saw it, so. Mine. Uh, how much room do I have? Oh, not a whole lot. Okay, let's prioritize getting back and getting that stuff then. Alright. Oh, I thought we had a copper wire in here, but we do not. Well, shoot. Oh, we do have copper. Uh, we don't have silver. Wait, do we have the middle direct middle detector? Did I make one of those? Oh, we do. Okay, perfect. Okay. Diamond, ion cube. There we go. Silver. Does it have like a little laser pointer line that it does, or is it just. Huh. I wonder how this one works. It beeps. Okay. It has dots on the screen. Oh. I can't wait to get the skin room built up. Be a lot more efficient than using this. I mean, this is a cool tool, but. Oh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining.
To the surface! There we go. So I did not get it, but where is it? Oh, I get you. No. No. Mine. Actually, wait. Is there something here? No, there's not. Okay. Where is it, though? I mean... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, uh, no! Oh, it was full anyway. It was full and it was titanium, so... Eh. Okay. Oh, huh, nice. <laughs> I wondered about that. That's a really powerful light. Still need the silver, though. Unfortunately. So, yeah, I need... Let's see, hold on. For the wiring kit, I, I just need silver. So, yeah. Alright. I wonder, actually. Can I make my... Scanner room, I wonder? It'd be quite nice if I could. Oh, there we go. I can make a scanner room. I have enough. Fortunately, it doesn't want to connect very well. But, such is the way of things. Warm back up real quick here. There we go. Now we're talking. A scanner room will allow you to survey the surrounding region for fragments and material resources like lithium or copper or titanium if you need help finding it. For whatever reason. Oh chief, if for whatever reason me. Need all the materials, you know this. Okay. T 
too early for that, but it it didn't come with cameras this time. No, it didn't come with cameras. Oh, no. but what is squelching underneath my feet? Oh, actually, hold up. Very important. I need to get that. Don't know where my detail is, but I'm about to find out. Actually, hold on. If I don't have any cameras, how does it even find anything? How does that work? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, seriously though. I look kind of David, my scan room is above water, so I don't think the cameras will work very well anyway. Uh, let's see. I haven't even seen Magnetite yet. What do I need for... Hold on. I need the wiring kit, which means I need silver. So silver is what I need to find. Oh, here we go. Titanium. Copper. Nice. The scan room is a central hub and the cameras are additional hubs that extend your range. No. You stop that. Oxygen. Let's see. Silver is so incredibly hard to find in this area. This is a really cool tool though. I do like this. Adds a little bit of a, a unique gameplay element to things. Oh, got stuck. See, I think my problem with the uh, scanner room, though is the fact that I, in the previous game, I uh, don't remember how it worked because I had the, the HUD chip for so long. There's an angry something out here. Alright, well, let's head this way and see what we find. And hey, we'll get lucky. I hear something angry. Uh, 
Uh, how much range do I have? I have a couple pieces of lead still. I'm good. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen uh, remaining. Uh, I found the cave that I needed at least. Yay! This it it's actually really is a fun tool. It really does add a lot of engagement to this. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, I got you. That was not what I was looking for. There it is. Nice. Alright, so that gives me... I have two silver. Let's see if I can find any more around. Oh. Hello. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decrease. Sea track. Oxygen. Uh oh, I should have gotten my bladder tool. Uh oh. Ooh ooh. Woo. And straight back down because I know there's a PDA there. Oh, apparently there was a plant there too. I failed to see that. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> Ouch. He had a conversation mano e mano. Oh yeah. <laughs> the damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up. No, see, no, see. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. 
I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. <laughs> Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. So relatable. Okay, inventory is full. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We're going up, 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 going up, up, up. Okay. Wait, hold on. My bearings are way off here. Pods that way. She's in base. Should be this way. I think. I remember it not being too far away because they didn't have a beacon yet. Hey, you guys. There it is. Do, 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 do. Oh. There we go. Back in the base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, wait. Hold on. Fabricator. Wearing kit. Mm, kid, okay. And then we will put the battery charger here. Nice. And now we can start offloading some batteries and recharging. There we go. Perfect. And yeah, that's actually good for that. Give that a minute to charge. Anything else we can make while we're waiting? No, none of that's important. I'm just gonna give that a second to charge these guys back up. Oh, good thing that I should edit my my recipes that I have equipped right now because I have two of those things already made. I don't need them anymore. Do 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 do. do. Okay, that one's going to be a while. That needs a diamond. Can they, but I actually want to make a locker, too.
Charge faster! Switch that there and there. Alright, and those are materials we don't need right now. Don't need lithium. Snowball. It served its purpose. Let me put that in there too. I don't need it. Okay, so we have a storage locker now. Um, we still don't have magnetite. That's unfortunate. I don't know what this is actually doing, if it's doing anything, because, uh, it didn't show me anything. I suppose getting the camera, uh, camera drone's a good idea, though. Needs a battery and a computer chip. And, as I recall... Oh, wrong way. Need more table coral and gold. And then we have batteries. But we can always make more batteries. Oh, couldn't leave it. I need that fiber mesh back. I'm gonna make a bed. There we go. Heck yeah. We are going glorious here. Okay, so we've got that. Uh... <laughs> Some of these are cute. getting there.
Uh, you know what? I say this is good enough. It's whatever. Perfect. Alright, so camera drone is going to be a computer chip, which is table coral and gold are the things I need. Although I suppose... Let's... Where, where is it? Let's go check out that emergency supply cache. Also, let's save. We've done a lot since the last time we saved. Oh. So I should run that way. No, okay. Back towards the center. That works. Use that. Oxygen. Oh, right. Morning emergency power only. Oh, it must be talking about the base. Nope. My tool, not your toy. Oxygen. How do I get to the emergency supply cache? Oh, I think I had to go through one of the sea monkey caverns to get there. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Ooh, hello. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh. What? What are you? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
<laughs> nice touch with the music. I can't even tell if my light's on or not. Super big glowy green thing here. Alien tech. Oh. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm really curious to see what's up here. Back on the hunt. New game, same story, sort of. Heck yeah. Where does it lead now? I'm edge running. Huh. Really? Oh, there's a way to get over there. Nice. Oh, hello. You look like fun. What are you? Are you a Metroid? Are you gonna eat my, my brain? Why do I have to get so uncomfortably close to you? Uh, eye jelly. The eye jelly resides in deep waters. It is made of three distinct body sections. Tentacles, the main body, and the bell. The end tentacles are covered in bioluminescent nodes which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called nidocytes. Within these cells are venomous harpoon-like structures called nematocytes, which are triggered by touch. The eye jellies gen gently drift with little locomotion, though they can track movement with their large, singular eye. So that's why you want me to get so close to it, scan it. Because you wanted it to kill me, essentially. Oh god, you guys are everywhere. You're just like a bunch of little landmines hanging out. Right. Oh, that is so trippy. Now you can see it from above. They literally do have just one giant eye on top. That's so cool. Oh, I thought I could get up here. I guess not. Well, where was I supposed to be able to get up then? Huh. Those are seriously trippy. I love them. Definitely give me the distinct impression that I am not welcome in this part of the world right now. <laughs> Woo! Getting a little close for comfort on a couple of these. So I thought I could get up over there, but I guess I can't. Hmm. Uh. You know, initially I was just trying to find that supply cache. That's all I was trying to do. 
Now I have to deal with like creepy eyeball creature things. Although I must say, this area is really freaking pretty. And the lack of sound, oh. Oh, that hits different. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you. Woo. There it is. Although I need to go up now. Uh, how much room do I get? A fair bit. Okay. Nope. You leave my toy alone. Or my tool alone. First aid kit. What? Uh. Hmm. Oh. Thank you. Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now with surface support. <laughs> now with surface support? Nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Well, I was talking about the beacon earlier and now I got it. So, yay! Do, 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 do. Oh? Huh. Yeah. You wanna fight? We'll fight. Hey. Yeah, you shoot water at me, huh? Thank you. Uh, okay, four quartz. That'll work. Oxygen. Indeed. Fragments.
You know, I know the game will run out of materials eventually, but it's kind of nice that it doesn't feel like it's limited, you know? Good stuff. Here's our spot, and we're gonna drop our beacon. All right, so we got our first base. What are we going to call this one? Kind of thinking Frag Zero, maybe? Because we've had Frag Nation and we've had Frag Down Under. I, th I think Frag Zero would work. Here we go. That'll work for now. Ooh, Fragberg. Okay. We'll do that. I like that. Welcome to Fragberg, home of the Fragburger. What can I get you? <laughs> So, first order of business is we need to build another solar panel. You know what? We're just going to do it the way you said before. We're going to put a hatch on the roof and do it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cool. Now I just do I, need, I guess I don't need a ladder. What? Fine. One it to face. Well. That one's facing east, so I Dangerous guess. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Alright. Uh, computer chip. Hey, that's closed. Let's throw these guys back on the charger. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good to keep one of these guys with us. So we'll do that. I'll keep a beacon. Okay, so I got the battery charger going. Got that. I have two solar panels. I need to make a computer chip. Which I need gold and table coral for. And I guess without cameras, this is a worthless system because uh, it wasn't doing nothing. Like, literally nothing. It, nothing showed up on my screen or anything. And 
And yeah, I have no earthly idea where Magnetite is, so that's gonna be a while. Yep, that'll work. Gold time. Grab a couple of those. No, better focus here. Need to get gold and also the table coral if we find it. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh, I don't want to deal with you. Say I don't want to deal with you. Oh boy. Uh that's a bad time to realize that I didn't I forgot to put a battery back in that. Oh. Well, there's my table coral. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Give it, give it. Oh man, I was hoping that plant was gonna come back, but it did not. There we go. Hey, I need one more table coral. Warning. 30 seconds Ugh. of oxygen remaining. Man, I can't even let you get down here to it. Oh, there we go. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Bad time to get stuck. <laughs> Oxygen. Okay, so that was silly of me to forget to put a battery in my sea glide. Whoops. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, don't deal with that. <laughs> Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Bye bye. I didn't mean to be rude. Ow. I got stuck on the plant. I really need to get like improved diving equipment somehow or other. Alright. So. 
Good news is we can make it into the battery. The bad news is I still need gold. And I'm not having any luck with that. Let's see. Uh. I doubt I'll find just raw gold. Oh. Is there a fragment down here? Oh, so there is. Oh, that was by pure accident. Ooh, pretty. Oh, it's not this whole fish. Man, the hunt for gold is not just it's just not been profitable. Okay. Oh, come to it. Did I... Let me head back in for a second. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, this just isn't doing anything. <laughs> I guess until I have a camera drone. Uh, the scanner room is totally worthless. That stinks, but uh, I suppose that is what it is. Can't do much with it. Oh, oh I can make titanium ingots now. That's nice. Oh, they changed that in this game. It's only five uh, titaniums for an ingot now, instead of ten. Nice. Alright, we got a battery. Still looking for gold. Don't need the sea glide. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and computer chip. So we're back to needing gold again. Ugh. Actually, let me go back to the other base because there's a chance that I may have uh, gold in that one. Let's head back to the pod. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold up. I need that.
And I'm trying to think of where I found gold before, because I know I just kind of went all over the place earlier. Uh, nope, no gold. Dang it. Then again, I can make another battery. Use those materials up. Alright. Actually, I'm looking at the clock, and I see that I've been gone for right at four hours now. So, I think this is going to be a good place to take a break. And I want to look up where gold is in my off time. But, I think this is a good place to take a break. Thank you very much for coming out for tonight's stream. Uh, let me see if there's anybody to raid before we end it for the night. Uh, once again, if you missed part of the stream and you wanted to catch the VOD, it will be up on YouTube on Wednesday at 3 p.m. I always put it up there now just so that it doesn't run afoul of Twitch's exclusivity stuff. You know, just kind of how it goes. But let's see who we got on that. Uh, let's see. We have Valera, Tebel, Catherine. Um. Actually, you know what? I think I think tonight we're, we're not gonna worry about it. We won't worry about the raid. Um, it was a good stream doing this, but we didn't really establish a crowd or anything, so I'm not gonna worry too much into it. But anyways, that's the end of this stream. Check my social media, especially my Twitter, and I'll have a new schedule posted up. But this three to seven block is always going to be Subnautica or another game like it. Till next time I see y'all, this is Angelo signing out. Bye-bye.